What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So today I was spent the whole time um, editing videos for Animaga 2019 because I was the videographer for the event. I'm actually also working on the vlog for the weekend. So that's why I haven't had a Mandalorian trailer reaction yet. And I just finished editing for the day um, and I went to sleep and I went, looked at my phone and then I saw that we got the D23 special look for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker was released online so now I'm going to watch that, react to that at the same time I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and also react to the Mandalorian trailer I was going to save that for a later date, probably not even do it to be honest because it's been several days but I was busy over the weekend with Animaga and now I have this look chance to look at it so I'm going to do my live reaction and let's get to it okay so I'll start with the D23 special look at the Rise of Skywalker. And yes, I don't look the best, but you're gonna have to do with it for this video, okay? So let's get to it. It's two minutes, holy shit, that's long. Okay, still recording, yeah, thank God. <laughs> what the hell, the binary sunset, okay. <laughs> okay, so like a recap of what, the OG trilogy, or even the prequels at all, I don't know. The nostalgia play is strong with this. We've passed on all we know. Got some prequel love at least, which is good. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. Something sounds odd about Luke's audio, but maybe that's just me. Okay. That's a lot of Star Destroyer. How the hell did the first resistance... What the hell, C-3PO? A new weapon. Okay, so they're battling on the Death Star. <sighs> so Dark Side Ray with the double bladed lightsaber. I did hear about that, the fact that Rey would, was, had the dark side and stuff and she wielded the double-bladed lightsaber. But to be honest, I really don't like that idea. I think if that was meant to happen, it should have happened in episode 8, not episode 9. I guess we'll see how it plays out. I'm not really excited for that reveal or that part at all. Um, I guess we got a good look at the battle they're going to have at the Death Star wreckage, which is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to go back a little to that dark side ray and it just looks the lightsaber for one looks really bad dark side ray itself something about her just looks really weird and just off i don't know maybe that's just me but it's probably because this is some sort of vision or something perhaps maybe palpatine stricking her I doubt Rey's gonna actually go to the dark side because nothing has built up to that. At least it did in The Force Awakens have the potential for her to go to the dark side. But The Last Jedi kind of just solidified the fact that she cannot go down that path or she won't go down that path because she's Rey. You know, she was better than Luke. You know, she's best at Kylo. Heck, she went to go and get Kylo and the whole thing was like, oh, she could be pulled to the dark side. No, she wasn't. She was strong enough strong enough to resist and just went to try to convince Kylo and whatnot but yeah okay so that was you know mediocre at best half of it was just flashbacks and whatnot so yeah yeah okay now let's let's go to the Mandalorian okay hopefully this this surely has got to be better okay let's go okay I do love these songs what the hell is this graveyard of troopers
This looks really good for a TV show, honestly. Holy crap. I know they had a big budget and all, but wow. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. This looks really sick. Holy shit, what the hell? Is IG-11 and the Mandalorian, oh my god. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Oh. Don't you agree? Oh, this looks really sick, holy shit. I'm, I'm, wow, that just looks, I mean, so badass and just barely anything happens, but it just looks so sick. It's just so well shot and just, wow, that looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, yeah, so you can tell I'm probably more excited for The Mandalorian now than The Rise of Skywalker. Trailers haven't done much justice or much in favor of The Rise of Skywalker. But then again, I don't really know what else to expect. You know, C-3PO was evil in the bloody special look. I mean, well, he had red eyes, probably just making us think he was evil. I don't know. Looks like there's another red laser thing. I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. And I don't know whether or not I should be as excited as I was for The Force Awakens and even The Last Jedi. Because The Last Jedi, it just left that bad of a taste in my mouth. I am excited for The Mandalorian, though. And I know that... Rebel, not Rebels, The Clone Wars is coming back in February next year, which is perfect because it's around my birthday. So yeah, I am excited for that. And these are my reactions to the Mandalorian trailer and also the special look at The Rise of Skywalker from D23. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and let me know down below which one you're more excited for and what did you think of the trailers. And until next time, I'll see you guys.